the trash? I'm gonna go throw this away, okay? I'll be right back. Our goddamn hero. You're such a good person. You deserve an award. What the spec? 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 What the? What the? What the? What the? Spec. How you doing? Daniel. How about Daniel? Yeah. Cool. I hate you, I hate you. Uh, look, Daniel. I hate Daniel. Daniel. <laughs> me, read. Me, read? No, I really don't want to. Can you say, you read? Me. No, say you. Uh, me. You. Uh, me. No, say you. Uh, me. This is very confusing. Me. Me. You. Uh, me. Me. You. I can try it. Me. God damn it, no. No, say you. Uh, me. No, say you. Me. Me is like you. Uh, me. Like this is me. Uh, I give up. Okay, here we go. Yeah. It is. Okay. Should we go to Target? It's my favorite place in the world. And then to the park? And then uh, to Trader mine. Joe's? Oh, uh, mine. Let's blow this hot dog stand. Hand. Give me your hand. 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 My heart just melts. Target. Target? Yeah. Okay. So we're both excited. That's great. So we are in crunch time right now. We're running out of time. Ashley's due in about 10 days. Ah! Second pregnancies are a lot more likely to be early. Are you a doctor? So we're basically at the point where it could happen at any moment. But I'm not ready yet. Which is kind of a trip, because it's hard to like organize your day-to-day -day life when pretty much at any point. All hell breaks loose. For the last two months, our to-do lists were like really long and we were just like, trying to get through as much stuff as possible. I can do this. Now in the last few days, it's like, doesn't really make a lot of sense to like start new projects or start anything that might take more than a few hours to get done. That sounds like an excuse. So it's kind of like the way you prioritize your music. Okay, I'll turn it on in a minute, okay? Shut up, you're interrupting my inner monologue. Where was I? So kind of the way I've been prioritizing is just like, if I could only get one thing done, for the next month, what would that one thing be? How would that be different from any other day? So, right now we're going to buy toilet paper. For pooping. Because that seems like it should be on the top of the list for the next month. Well, at least your priorities are in order. Oh, like a toy house? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you want a toy house? Yeah. Yeah? Hubby. Okay. We're not going to get one today, but maybe one day you'll get one. To foreshadow or portend. We just went over this. Like a toy house? Yeah. Oh yeah, we can look at a toy house. But that's it! Found him. I'll get some paper towels. Do we need anything else? Yeah. What? Don't say it. House. <sighs> Everything is awesome. It's heavy, heavy. Is it heavy? Yeah. Like you wouldn't believe. Throw. What? Throw. Throw? Yeah. You can throw it. We're about to get kicked the fuck out of here. <gasps> Good one. I'm going to have to ask you both to leave. Yeah, it's me, Deadpool. Me, me. Me, me. No, but seriously, I mean. Fuck the police! House. Not this again. What is this? What is... You're a child? What? Settle down, baby. We're gonna keep moving. We're gonna keep moving. Here we go, ready? It's okay. It's okay, we're gonna keep moving, okay? We're done here. Cool park, huh? Yeah. Do you wanna go run around? Yeah. Okay. Run free! <laughs> What 
didn't take long. Let me out of here! Try this one more time. Me? Yeah. You have to say you. Oh, me. Say you. Oh, me. How can I explain this? Say you. Oh, me. <laughs> Wanna fight? You have to say me. Oh, or me. you. Say you. Oh, me. Say you. Oh, me. Me. Oh, me. You. Me. I don't know what else to say. Oh, oh, me. You. Yeah, you. So awesome. awesome. Totally awesome. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. You got it? Yeah. American Ninja Warrior. There is no limit to what this woman can do. We're going the yellow one next time, okay? But for right now, we gotta get going. We gotta get going. Why are you out of breath? Ashley, my wife, is a video producer at a local ad agency. And what is this, Mad Men? A couple months ago, she got put on a project with the ECU, the local credit union, and the University of Washington for the upcoming school year and upcoming football season. I uh, never pegged you for a sportsman. But the original project was to take this hundred-year-old fight song. No, thank you. But basically the idea was to um, get in touch with successful and famous old alumni from UW. Kenny G. To have them perform this fight song and then kind of like stitch it all together. A musical montage. They put my wife on the project and she kind of wanted to like do something a little more fresh. Hey, a little something for the kids. So she shot me a text that was like, do you think it'd be possible to take this hundred year old fight song? I can see where this is going. And like remix it in a way that was a more modern. It's a hit modern remake. So I played around with it for like a day and ultimately the answer was no, absolutely not. Uh, because um, it really is just meandering and time signatures and three and it just wouldn't work like as a pop music thing. Nope. But I did say that I would be happy to um, experiment a little bit and see if I could make something different out of it that wouldn't be like an updated version of the song but would just be like a new thing made with parts of that song but much better so i ended up taking the kind of like hook of the fight song um i adjusted the time signature so that it was in four and not three numbers borrowed a bunch of like marching band horn parts but rearranged them so they were in like just more of like a pop music structure and then i played it for her She dug it and we kind of like came up with this concept. We're kind of like a power couple. My wife has been working on this like night and day. And I mean like night and day, like straight through. She's a hero. Not just trying to coordinate all these different moving parts, but also like making the process like presentable to her clients, like to BECU and to UW. Getting a little nervous back there. All that is to say, she says it's gonna go live next week, which is why I'm shooting this. I think it's safe to talk about now. You're being sued. I'm stoked. I've never really been involved in a in like a commercial project that was so focused on like not just being authentic but also like involving folks directly from the community and making sure everybody got paid to do the thing that they're good at and that they love to do like that's very rare in the creative world it's never happened before <laughs> so i'm stoked for everybody to see it i hope you like it it was a lot of fun to make what a sellout is closed. Oh, false advertising. Sorry.